Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 23rd of July 2020 and the time has just gone 11.50 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Euro Sterling. And as we can see here from the upward trend, from this nice upward, this chart here, um, daily chart, we can see there's been a, in a nice upward trend for the last number of months. In fact, last month, uh, in late June, it hit its highest level uh, since March. It's come off a bit since, um, but, but we have been pushing higher yet again. Uh, and this video is going to discuss potential price points to keep an eye out for uh, in, the, in, medium t uh, in the short to medium term. So the wider upper trend is, it rem remains intact. And, and uh, so if we do press on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting the highs of late June. Uh, and that comes into play at zero spot 91.75. And should we take off that area, uh, we can then be testing up towards this zone here, in around zero spot 92, up towards zero spot 92.39. And if we go beyond that, uh, we could be looking at heading up potentially up towards the 94 area. Um, if we do move to the downside, uh, where can we potentially find support from? We could find some support from this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, and that comes into play at zero spot 89.69, sorry, 80, zero spot 89.96. And we can see that this metric um, only, only a few days ago, and also last, um, uh, last week, and also back in mid-May, acted nicely as support. And if a metric has acted nicely as support in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be uh, active support in the future, but obviously there are no guarantees. So that's something, something to keep an eye on. And even if you do drop below the 50 day moving average, support could be found from this yellow line here, the 100 day moving average. And that comes into play at zero spot 89.26. And we can see here that when the market had a, uh, an aggressive sell off into, uh, in, in April into going to May, the market didn't quite get down there, but, but it, was, it got close enough to the 100 day moving average. But we can notice back in February, in late February, that metric acted as both support resistance and then also support. Um, so if the metric, once again, has been important in the past, it could be of, of importance in the future. And even if you drop below that, uh, we could head back down towards this zone here, down around zero spot 88. Now, if you are going to be trading Euro sterling today or any of the Euro, Euro and, and, or, and sterling crosses, keep in mind that today is the last day of planned uh, EU-UK negotiations in relation to what the UK's post-transition period relationship with the European Union is going to look like. Not to say that other talks couldn't be announced, but today is the final day for, for planned talks. So we're already seeing a bit of, um, bit of pressure on the pound, hence why we're seeing uh, the, the, the euro continue in its upward trend, because the traders are kind of, any time there's been a kind of certainty of the UK winding up in a no-deal scenario, that is uh, typically uh, put pressure on the pound and therefore has pushed the euro higher. Um, what I also want to talk about uh, is how the euro is faring against other currencies and how the pound is faring against other currencies because one of the things I like to look at is Dow theory. Uh, and what Dow theory basically sa says is that the averages must confirm each other. What that essentially means is if, if you're looking at a certain market, for example, euro sterling, and you see it's an upward trend, you're, you're seeing that the pound the euro is gaining against the British pound. But you also want to see, is that true across other markets? Here is euro dollar. Euro dollar is in a nice upward trend. We're just, we're not too far away from the one spot 16 mark. Yesterday, we traded above one spot 16. That was euro, euro dollar's highest level since October 2018. So give indication of how strong euro dollar is. So we're seeing the euro gain, gain against the British pound, but we're also seeing the euro gain against the US dollar. So it's, it seems fairly clear that there's a broad move to the upside in the, in the euro. So therefore, you can be more confident that the, um, the euro sterling is going to push higher. But obviously, there are no guarantees. This here is the pound sterling. Now, as you can see in the last couple of sessions, only on, uh, only on Tuesday, pound dollar hit its highest level um, in over a month. So there is a bit of strength in the British pound, uh, but we can see, if you look at the candles on the last couple of days, the long wick on this candle, the narrow body in this candle, you know, it seems to me there's a lot of indecision uh, tied up with, with, uh, with, with pound dollar at the moment. So 
if you, you know, if you add it together, we can see that the euro is gaining ground against the, the British pound. The euro is certainly gaining ground against the, um, the US dollar and euro sterling, uh, sorry, and pound sterling seems to be a bit indecision. So we can say we, we can be more confident that this upward trend in euro sterling is going to continue, but obviously there are no guarantees. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, stay safe, have a good trading week and good luck.